Hi, in this video, I will show you how to leverage your LinkedIn activities inside of Spots. So I will show you step by step how you can have this report inside your dashboard where you can see how many contacts you created from LinkedIn to HubSpot, how many conversations you had on a weekly basis split by sales. You can have it also monthly or quarterly, for example, and how many LinkedIn invitations you sent per week. LinkedIn invitation still pending, so you sent an invitation, but they didn't accept. And of course, LinkedIn invitation accepted. So let's dive in. First of all, what you need to know is we sync conversation and invitation as a timeline event inside of Spots. So you can find it here on the contact level, filter activity, and you click on Hub Lead. And there you will have a timeline event for each event. We have four events. One is LinkedIn invitation sent, LinkedIn invitation accepted, LinkedIn message sent, and LinkedIn message replied. So to create a report on how many contacts you imported on a daily, weekly basis, for example, just click on single object or custom report builder if you want to associate with different objects such as companies or deals, for example. Here, for simplicity, I will go to single report. I will select contacts, click on next. Now you have to go to advanced filters, search for original source, drill down to, and you have to pass this code. It's 1451878. And now you go to visualization, create date, count of contact, and here you can select colon. The basic frequency is daily, but you can select weekly, monthly if you want. And here you have the number of contacts you imported on a weekly basis. You can also have the split in terms of contact owner, so in terms of sales rep, how many contacts have been imported by this sales rep and this one. So you go to data, search for contact owner, go back to visualization and you drag and drop the contact owner over there. And that's it. You can now save the report. So for the linking of LinkedIn message or sales navigator message to HubSpot, it's very simple. We log two different ways. One is a log LinkedIn message you can see here. And this one will be one activity per day of conversation. So for example, you will see here, I have an activity for the 30th August. And here we have 29, 21, 16. You won't have two or three activities for the same day. We also sync one message for one timeline event. You will have one timeline event for LinkedIn message sent by you and one timeline event of LinkedIn message received to you. So you can build some lists and trigger some workflows. Right now, I will show you how to create the report for LinkedIn message. So to create a report on LinkedIn message sent per week, per, per month, for example, split by sales, you will have to use the activity. So you click on single object. You can do a custom report builder if you want. I will search for activities here. And now you click on next. So here, for example, we have our activities. I go to visualization. I grab activity type and I put that here and count of activities. And here you will see you have, let me zoom in, you have LinkedIn message. So these are the activities we, we log. But here we want, for example, on a weekly basis, how many contacts we engage on LinkedIn. So for that, I will have to create a custom report builder. Your primary source will be contacts, but you have to select activities over there. You click on it, next. And now we have to pull the count of contacts. So here, for example, the create date of activities here. You can change the frequency over there. And you want to filter for only LinkedIn activities. Activity type is any of LinkedIn message. But if you want, you can also select, for example, call and email sent if you want to have a wider view on your prospection. And I hit apply. And if I want, I can take activity type and do a breakdown by that. Or I can use, for example, contact owner and do the breakdown over there. OK, if I want only LinkedIn message sent, I just have to remove this one and this one. Click on apply. And now I have the amount of contacts we engage on a monthly basis through LinkedIn. Here, for example, I will create a list of people I sent a message on LinkedIn. So I click on next. It's a list of contacts, of course. And you click on add filters. You search for hub lead. And now you see you have LinkedIn message sent properties. 
you also have LinkedIn message received. So this one will be for the least people I received the message on LinkedIn. I click on this one. Then I click on username. And if I want only me, I can just write Bash and Paul. Or if you want any hybrid user, for example, you can just click here and search for is known. You create the list. Now we will do people I received the message on LinkedIn. So same thing. You go to Hublid, LinkedIn message received, username same, Bastian Paul, or uh, is known, for example. So I will check is known. And now, for example, if you want to have the list of people you sent a message but didn't answer to you, so you click on add filter, you search for list. You're searching for people I sent a message on LinkedIn, is member of that list. You add a new filter, searching for the list also. So people, I received a message on LinkedIn, but you don't want people inside this list. And now you have a list of people who you sent a message on LinkedIn, but didn't reply to you. So you can trigger a workflow, for example, from that list to have a task in three, four, five, seven days to check your last activity date, for example, uh, where you can see if you sent an email, if you called that, that person uh, to activate a multiple channel outbound. Okay, so if you want this kind of reports of LinkedIn invitation sent, LinkedIn invitation pending, and LinkedIn invitation accepted, you will have to do several things. First, you will need to create a workflow to store the LinkedIn invitation date sent and accepted. So two properties you have to create on the contact, and I will show you. And after, you have to create a list of people who you sent an invitation, who accepted your invitation, and a third list, people who you sent an invitation minus the one who accepted. So you have people didn't accept. So after that, you can have this kind of report. And here you can see I selected contact in this list, LinkedIn invitation sent. And I have also LinkedIn connection request sent. So for the workflow, really simple. You just have to create a workflow from scratch contact based, you click on next, and now you will search for the triggers. So you go here, when filter criteria is met, you search for hub lead, hub lead over there, and now you want to select LinkedIn invitation sent, inviter. So if I want to trigger for only some of my hub lead user, I can just say, for example, Bastian Paul here, or you can trigger for anyone. So you click on is known. I click on save. Now you have to add another action, set property, you click here, and you search for LinkedIn connection request sent and accepted. Be careful because these properties, you have to create them. So you can click on create a new contact property, and this property should be date picker. So for example, I have LinkedIn connection sent here, select contact information, whatever, field type, and here you select date picker. And now you have it, and you have your workflow, if you want to do the same thing for accepted, you just have to duplicate this workflow. And instead of selecting LinkedIn invitation sent, you search for Hublid LinkedIn new connection. And then you do the same thing, inviter is none. And you have to select another property. You will really select, for example, LinkedIn connection request accepted. And that's it. So you can create a list of people using this kind of event. So if I click on add filter and I search for hub lead, here you see we have these four events. So let's say, for example, I want LinkedIn invitation sent. And now I want only contact where I sent an invitation. So I click on inviter is equal to any bastion poll press enter and save the list. If you want, you can have a list for everyone in your company. You just have to say, inviter is known. So I have a list of people who I sent an invitation. So I can rename it people I sent an invitation, save changes. So let's say you want a list of people who did not accept your invitation. So you have to create another list. And the list you have to create is a list of people who accepted your invitation. So after that, you can create a list of people who you sent an invitation minus a list of people who accepted your invitation. To read the list of people who accepted your invitation, you go here and click on new LinkedIn connection. Inviter is, and there you have it. And now I can create the list people who did not accept my invitation. Add filter, search for list membership. You click on people I sent a LinkedIn invitation is member of that list and click on add filter over there. You search for people who accepted my invitation. 
but you don't want people who are members of that list. You want people that are not in that list and click save and there you have it. So I hope this video helped you to better understand how you can organize yourself on LinkedIn and Sales Navigator uh, when you're using HubSpot. If you have any comment, let me know. You can send me a message on LinkedIn or through the chat on the website hubly.io. Bye.